Hey guys, Midget here, and welcome to another episode of my Derby Crimo. Today we have a four game episode, and also it's over 10 minutes, uh, so it's the yeah, first episode in three games, uh, in three episodes, sorry, that's over 10 minutes, which I'm quite delighted with. But we start with the game against Norwich City, and um, well, I wasn't particularly scared, um, but Basong and Yobo are very good centre backs, and also uh, Chris Martin comes um, for comes home um, from his former team because he used to play for uh, Norwich City before we, uh, we, you know, we bought him in real life. Um, so anyway, in the eighth minute, um, I pass it to Wisdom who has his shot and gets blocked by Ruddy, but Martin manages to finish it in the net. And then I just to you know mark his like uh, respect for the team. I do the you know sorry celebration, you know, I uh, respect the police celebration but again it was a really nice goal you know I love how Martin hit that um, and you know I love how players they have to score for the form against the former team don't they but then they're like really sad um, but then again straight after that you know our legends performed an amazing save um, and then eight minutes later in the 18th minute Ings went through but Ruddy saved it and I was slagging off Ings at this moment because Ings just cannot finish like um, he's supposed to be my best player, um, and he still is my best player, but look, he can't finish nothing, um, which I'm really um, angry about, but in the 45th minute, Eric Dier has a howler. He tries to pass it out, but it gets into the path of, I think it's Johnson or someone, and they score the equaliser in the added minutes of the first half, which is not good, because... You know, we want to go for all three points, and with mistakes like that, you know, nothing can happen. But um, in the 50th minute, you know, I didn't show you the half-time stats. But in the 50th minute, you know, um, Yobo tries to skill Ings, but he doesn't manage to. And Ings hits the post, but it manages to go in. You know, it's not the easiest of chances to finish a goal like that. However, um, it would be very good if he could, and, you know, he just proved he did. You know, he is such a good poacher, but, you know, I don't want to be... Um, you know, saying he's amazing because he's not obviously uh, he's missing so many chances. But here in the 87th minute, two minutes from time, um, he bloody wait. Did I show you the second goal? I don't think I did. Um, but I uh, know. Yes. So I don't know. Um, Eric D again, a howler. Um, has a bloody howler, and Yobo manages to finish it. You know, on the side of his foot. So I dropped. Yeah, Eric Dia for the rest of the games. Oh yeah, this is the third thingy. Right, this is second goal. Um, so sorry, I put them in the wrong order. Um, but uh, uh, just my mistake. Sorry, I'm not going to change it now. You know, we, we're having the thingy in the 62nd minute. Eric Dia, another. He's he was in all three of these goals. Eric Dia fouled and two mistakes from him caused us to go three three with. Uh, Norwich City, which is not good. You know, I'm not disappointed, truly disappointed with this because you know I know Norwich are a very tough team to come to come up against, especially away. Um, but you know, three mistakes could have won this game three 0 But um, we did not, and yes. So here you see the half-time stats, you know, we really dominated this game, but they had um, less shots on target and still managed to get something out of the game, which I was not particularly pleased about, but, you know, um, everything can happen in the Premier League, and, um, you know, McCannon and Bajorano say they really want some game time, so I decided to give it to them in the game against West Ham coming up now. Um, as you see, I put Bajorano in the left-back, I put McCannon on the substitute striker instead of Berahino, um, and that's basically because I think... Um, and I was meant to go in game time, but I know if you put him on as a substitute, he still say thanks for the game time. So I was willing to do that, you know. But I didn't really care about the um, left back position because Oviedo um, was base. He wasn't really used in that game against Norwich. And I was like, okay, I, I don't see um, you know West Ham going down the wings um, because obviously Andy Carroll isn't in the main thingy, so they won't be going for headers. Um, so you know why why not? But in the second minute. Um, I haven't. Well, but Wisdom has a howler. Taylor flicks it up, and um, I can't. I don't know who that is. Almost scores, and then Noble just slides it wide from about five yards, which is just really lucky. But in the 17th minute, um, Will Hughes gets an injury for me, you know, which is very bad. But what can you do? You know, injuries come, and he's going to be out for a couple of weeks. Um, but you know, the main thing is the squad depth, and uh, I think we have that. You know, James Belly's not the worst, so worst of sentiments. Um, but then Ings passes a great pass to. Um, Martin and he wonderfully chips Adrian, you know, I, I was more going for a finesse um, in my head, but then I was like, 
the keeper's off his line I, I don't want to risk not scoring so let's just go for the chip and it luckily worked out you know it was a pretty nice chip you know um, Martin is becoming uh, he's grown better than Ing so I might want to use Martin more but Ings is like three years younger but and doesn't matter but that here I was like not being greedy with Ings and I decided um, since I was greedy in the last game of Ings passing to Ings and kept missing the chances I'll sweat it over to Martin and you're gonna see how good of a finish that is for Martin you know it's a great run holding off um, uh, the defender by Ings but look 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 how realistic that touch is he like just with with the running thing but this is the most um, what's the worst unfair penalty most soft penalty you'll ever see. Uh, I don't know how that could be a penalty. I think James Collins just got completely robbed. You know, I see him tugging on Martin's shirt, but th that's nowhere near a penalty because Martin's still on the ball. You know, but then here, I'm so so sorry, guys. Um, you know how I want Martin to get his hat trick. So he's on two goals. I want to get him hat trick, but I also wanted Ings to score because I know Martin would score more. Um, you know, score in this game. So I scored with Ings. Um, I felt kind of bad because, you know, I wanted Martin to score, obviously, but, uh, Ings, you know, since I have this thing for Ings, I don't know what it is, I just find him, like, the best player in the team, um, although he's not anymore, um, but, you know, um, it was half-time and 3-0 and we had three, the same amount of shots on target, so I think, um, we had justice from the last game, but going into the 48th minute, Bajorano passes it towards who slides it through to Bailey, Bailey crosses it into Simon Dawkins, Dawkins, Adrian saves on Mark Cannon, our substitute, scores with his first touch of the game, and his first touch of being a derby player, he volleys it home, and I thought, at first I thought that was Jeff Hendrick, but then um, at the end, you're going to see, yep, just now, you're going to see in a minute, Mark Cannon, yep, there, um, so we win uh, West Ham 4-0 at home, and, you know, we had five shots on target and four goals, which makes us very clinical, in my opinion, you know, one of the most clinical sides in the league, and um, we do our usual stuff after the game, you know, we decline the managerial offer from Paraguay, and he says, uh, well, he's going to be out for four weeks, so I'm going straight into the game against Cardiff City so I decided to put um, my best team up against Welcome Cardiff because everyone was fake you know and I want to get as much points as possible uh, however we are in the top five so I think I should you know uh, forfeit some games or something like that you know lose on purpose um, however we might not have to you know because um, you know we have some really bad games coming up um, but it's just the point that we're fifth with our team you know we're going to get into the Champions League I don't know because this is the latest episode I've recorded. But if we get into the Champions League, I'm going to be pretty gutted. So I don't think I don't even think W will be in the first half of the table. But in the eighth minute, that was lovely team play and a lovely capped off finish from Chris Martin. You know, um, he's definitely stepped up in these last episodes because that was an absolute cracking header. You know, I loved the realism in that. You know, um, I just love how the way he hit it. Um, it's, it's just perfect, but in the 33rd minute, Medell passes it through to Craig Noon, you know, the former roofer, passes it back to Medell, he gets past our defenders, he shoots, um, no one's there to pick up the pieces, but the card of City strike Camilla, and he equalises in the 34th minute, which I, was, I wasn't too disappointed about, you know, because I like Cardiff, you know, I think they've got a really good side, and um, on, like, game, on a game, you know, like FIFA, it's more of a simulator rather than real life form. So, um, they're going to do quite well in the league, you know, but um, you see that we got kind of, you know, it's, pretty, it's an even enough game, so I wasn't really, uh, you know, sad about this game, you know, but in the 16th minute we fouled Crondelli and obviously Cardiff were a bit angry, nearly hit the crossbar, and sorry about this, um, my controller said it was, you know, coming out of battery so you don't get to see the first bit of the goal, and, um, well, Oviedo failed to bloody um, head it. He, like, headed it too early, and he fell to the floor. Um, you're not going to see it, I don't think. Okay, maybe you are. He headed it to the floor, and Craig Bellamy just poked it in, which I was just not angry about. But in the 89th minute, you know, uh, Kenwin Jones gets taken down by Lenskins. Initially, it wasn't a penalty if it was going to go in. But, um, you know, the black ref... I'm not being racist, you know, there's just not many black refs. The black ref gives Lenskins... Uh, red, sorry, yellow card, and it's a penalty, and Penilla can score a second goal on his debut, um, so, you know, what a debut that would have been for the car, if he scores this, you know, he's not guaranteed to score, um, but he does score it, I can't, I, sorry, I didn't show you the goal, it, like, lagged out, um, but we're 3-1, we three, we lost 3-1, and, you know, this time we had the same amount of shots as Cardiff, so I think, uh, we sort of got justice back for the West Ham game, 
and you know here's the last game of the episode coming up and it's against Chelsea so you know Chelsea are obviously a very tough side and we're not guaranteed to get anything against Chelsea but let's try our best you now um, in the 18th minute Ings goes running down the line cross it into Martin he gets it to check saves it but then the rebound comes back to Martin who heads it into the net and it's an absolute wicked lead you know it's 90th minute and Derby a shock leading it against Chelsea you know this is amazing and you know in the 32nd minute um, we get it to Ings he cuts inside runs down the line shoots and it goes in top left corner and Derby double their shock lead against Chelsea away and I was I was like Am I using sliders? I didn't show you because you know that's a really sarcastic thing. But um, I thought I was using sliders because uh, it's just I don't know how my run of form went. You know, I lost one, 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 lost one, one, one. Um, but here you see that we was absolute. Uh, you know, Ash, all our shots were on target, which is great. But in the 77th minute, um, Mikel crossed it through the thingy, and Eric Dean and Karika getting a muddle up, and Aspel Equator manages to finesse it home um, for Chelsea, almost. I'm um, going for a comeback. You don't know if it's going to be a comeback yet. Um, but uh, as Billy Quater, I was kind of angry with that goal because, you know, Eric Dia, this is his first game coming back and he's already made a mistake with Daniel Carrico and with that. I just, it's not really his fault, but, you know, it's just kind of weird. But, you know, um, you know, it ends like that. So it ends 2-1. You know, we definitely dominated Chelsea unlike last time we played this uh, back when I was, it was my old career mode. Um, but, you know, that's how it ends, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give it a like. You know, sorry for the commentary being pretty bad. Um, but I tried my best, you know. I'm pretty tired as it is 7 a.m. in the morning. So, uh, yes. And, yes, yeah, so um, this is Midget. And I'm going to see you guys on my next episode, which is going to be tomorrow. And, yeah, peace out.